Call it a water line, call it a transmission line, or call it a pipeline, but it's really a lifeline. Successfully transporting the precious, high-quality water of Bird's Mill Spring 12 miles to the city of Ada is critical. If that lifeline fails, Ada is in big trouble. The old lines in place for decades are starting to show signs of failure, so city leaders are taking action. There's about a million gallons per day lost in this old line as it makes its way from the spring to the uh, water treatment plant. And this is a project that, uh, frankly, is way, way overdue. We're using infrastructure from the 30s still today, and, and, and obviously that's too long. Currently, the city uses two transmission lines to move raw water from Bird's Mill Springs southwest of Fitztown to its water treatment facility on the south edge of Ada. The first line was built about 80 years ago, and a supplemental line was added some 40 years later. As a recent engineering study commissioned by the first penny for our city sales tax confirmed, both lines are wearing out and operating inefficiently. We were lucky once again that our citizens were, had enough foresight to realize when we asked for the penny for the city, uh, the projects included the police, the fire, the uh, recreation sports park, uh, and one portion of that also was the study for this uh, raw water line plus the, uh, the uh, water treatment plant, the improvements on the water treatment plant. And uh, that was an expensive study because if you look at the logistics and what it's going to take to put in 12 miles of large capacity water line plus keep the water rolling at the same time, uh, that was a pretty major deal in and of itself. It's, it's a pretty large engineering fee. To continue using these degenerating lines is akin to whistling past the graveyard. Armed with hard and even startling data provided by the engineering study, the city has started the process of replacing both aging lines with the brand new one. Replacing the main line, although of paramount importance, is only one part of a comprehensive overhaul now underway for the city's antiquated water distribution system. But what we're looking to do is to replace the 30s line with a line that's large enough to handle on its own the needs for the city of Ada and the outlying uh, water districts for the next uh, 50 years. It's a 20 some odd million dollar, nearly 30 million dollar project, which includes replacement of one of the raw water lines, the largest of the two, as well as a, a new clear well here at the treatment plant, which is going to be a 2.5 million gallon clear well, which holds two and a half million gallons of water uh, that we can uh, pump through and, and put out to the city of Ada. Work on installing the new main water line is underway in two key areas, near the source at Bird's Mill Spring and near the destination at the city's treatment plant. Installing the new line while making sure water supply is not interrupted is no easy task. That's the, the ballet that the guys are dancing as they're putting in the new line. They'll put in a segment, they may join it in with the 70s line uh, as they go. So the water has to continue to flow, obviously. We can't shut down the water for the year that it's going to take to put this new water line in. You're talking an 11-month project here. Bird's Mill, they're uh, we're currently in the staging process and they've started clearing of the easements. Uh, I believe at this point today uh, they're, they're putting in a little bit of line. It'll tie into a manifold system which will go into these clear wells and from the clear wells it goes into the uh, pump house uh, which is right over my shoulder here. There's a series of pumps that put it into our system, pressure it up and send it out to your houses. Once the new line is completely installed in approximately a year from now, it should eliminate major water loss between the spring and the city's distribution system. The additional 1 million gallons of storage at the treatment plant will also help the city meet rising demand as Ada continues to grow. With new legal limits placed on how much can be taken from the Arbuckle Simpson Aquifer, conservation and efficiency are more important than ever before. I mean, we expect this line to last as long as the line that we're replacing. Uh, it's more modern material, there should be less leakage, it should be more efficient. So, I mean, uh, the, the green movement and trying to uh, stay within our water rights and do the things that we need to do to take care of our environment, not only for ourselves, but for those that come behind us, this is just a step in that direction, so it's a good thing. We're very, very lucky. Uh, Bird's Mill is the northernmost spring shed from that aquifer. It's been the uh, source of water for the city of Ada and the surrounding county for, oh, since the 30s at the, you know, the least, and probably a little bit longer than that. So we're super lucky to have that. Uh, as long as we take care of it, it should take care of us from, from, from the next foreseeable future.